Hey, welcome back to the Smelly Telly. Today we're going to be learning how to play Main Street by Bob Seger, and this request comes from Dear Old Dad. So if any of you guys got dads out there, hit the like and subscribe button because it helps me continue to make more guitar lesson videos for you. Remember, you can get the tabs and practice tracks for this on Patreon, all for the price of a cup of coffee. And uh, Main Street, interesting song. The uh, record is tuned sharp, and they're tuned uh, not like, you know, to, to D sharp or anything. They're tuned like a quarter sharp of D, so it's kind of an odd... Uh, odd thing going on there but today we're per tuned perfectly to e standard so we can all use our tuners at home and play together uh just giving you a heads up when you go play the record uh it's gonna sound funny when you play along with it that's enough talking let's go play some guitar okay bob seeger main street the main lick sounds like this Okay, so to play that, you're going to start on the 17th fret of your high E string. Then go 17, 15, 14 on the high E string. Back to the 15th fret. Then you're going to go 15th fret, 17th fret, 15th fret. And then you're going to bend the 17th fret of your B string, give it a full bend. And release the bend. Then play the 15th fret of the B string. Then we're going to walk back up to the uh, 17th fret of the high E string. The way we do that is we start on the 15th fret of the B, 17th fret B, 14th fret high E, 15th fret high E, 17th fret high E, and we're back to the top of the lick, 17, 15, 14, 15th fret, then 15, 17, 15, then a 17th fret with a full bend, release the bend, 15th fret. Then we do a hammer on from the 12th fret of the B string to the 15th fret of the B string. Then play the 12th fret of the B string. And then we got another hammer on 10th fret to the 12th fret of the B string. Then you play the 10th fret of the B string. Okay, let's take this intro lick nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Then you're into the first verse of the song, there's no guitar there, and we get to the chorus, and there's no guitar there either. Okay, and then right before the second verse, the lick sounds just about exactly the same. Uh, we're just going to change up the ending here and play a little bit less in the middle. So it sounds like this. Wait there. So in that lick, we didn't add any notes. We really just took some notes away and changed the timing of the lick at the end. So uh, to play that, same thing, 17th fret, walk it down to the 14th fret, 17, 15, 14, 15th fret, high E, then you go 15, 17, 15, then we got a 17th fret on the B string, give it a full bend and release it, and then play the 15th fret of the B. Then we wait, no filler lick there, and then we come back, uh, same lick, 17th fret, 17, 15, 14, then we got 15, 15, 17, 15, then the 17th fret of the B string with a full bend and a release, Sep uh, 15th fret B, then we have the 12th fret hammer on to the 15th fret, back down to the 12th fret. Then we have the 10th fret and we're going to hammer on the 12th fret twice. And then we're going to pull off to the 10th fret. So that was 10th fret, hammer on 12, pull off to 10, hammer on 12, pull off to 10. Okay. OK, 
Okay. And then we're into the second verse and the uh, second chorus. Again, no uh, no guitar there. Coming out of that second chorus, though, uh, we are going to do the main guitar lick, and then we are going to be into the guitar solo. So coming out of the uh, second verse, uh, second chorus here, sounds like this. We wait here. And that one there da -da -da, was a little bit quicker than the very first time we played it. Okay, let's take that lick nice and slow and then we'll jump into the solo. And then we're into the guitar solo. So the guitar solo sounds like this. Okay, and to play that, we're going to start on the 7th fret of the D string. Then we're going to do 7th fret, hammer on to the 9th fret. 7th fret of the G. Then the 7th fret of the G again, we're going to hammer on to the 19th fret. Uh, sorry, to the 9th fret. Then this next lick. That's just the 9th fret of the G string. 7th fret B. 8th fret B. 10th fret B. Play the 10th fret again and give it a full bend. Then at the top of the bend here, 10th fret, we're going to release it. Pull off the 8th fret to the 7th fret of the B string. Pull off the 9th fret of the G string to the 7th. Then play the 10th fret of the B string. And then get the 9th fret of your G and give it a full bend. Holding that bend at the top, we're going to play it again and release it and pull off to the 7th fret. So 9th fret, full bend, release. Pull off to the 7th fret. Then play the 9th fret of the G string. Then we're going to give the 9th fret a full bend and release it. 7th fret of the G string. Then we're going to go 7th fret of the D string, hammer on to the 9th fret. Then the 7th fret of the G string. And then we're going to do that lick again, 7th fret D string, hammer on to the 9th fret, 7th fret G. Then we go to the A string, 7th fret, hammer on to the 9th, 7th fret D string, 9th fret A string, slide down to the 7th fret, 5th fret A, 7th fret E, 5th fret A. Then we're going to slide the 7th fret of the A string up to the 9th fret. 7th fret D string, 9th fret A slide back down to the 7th, then we're going to slide the 7th fret of the D string up to the 9th fret, hammer on the 7th fret to the 9th fret of the G string, do the same thing on the D string, 7th fret hammer on to the 9th fret, then play the 7th fret of the B string, pull off the 8th fret to the 7th fret, 9th fret G, 7th fret B, pull off the 9th fret to the 7th fret of your G string, hammer on the 7th fret of your D string to the 9th fret, back down to the 7th fret of the D string. Then we have these really high bends, 10th fret B string, give it a full bend, release it, and you're going to play the 10th fret again. Then you get the 10th fret of the high E string with a full bend and a release. Then play the 10th fret of the E string. Then you get the 7th fret of the E string, 10th fret B, 7th B, 9th fret G string, 9th fret D string. Then hammer on the 7th fret to the 9th fret of the G string, to the 9th fret of the D string. 
Okay, one more time. Let's take the whole solo nice and slow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, now we're at the end of the song here, and uh, he plays the same frets at the very beginning, and then he adds some things at the end. So we're just going to go line by line, and we'll play each one of these. So the first line sounds like this. Okay, all that was was the 17th fret of our high E string. Hammer on the 15th fret to the 17th fret. Then play the 15th fret of the high E string again. Then we're going to go to the 14th fret, hammer on the 15th fret. 14th fret of the high E. Then we're going to go to the 12th fret, hammer on the 14th fret. 12th fret of the high E. Okay. Line 101, starting at the top, sounds like this. Very similar, we just added a little slide there at the end. So line 101, uh, starting at the 17th fret of our high E. Hammer on from the 15th fret to the 17th fret. Play the 15th fret again of the high E. 14th fret high E, hammer on to the 15th fret. 14th fret high E. 12th fret high E, hammer on the 14th fret. And then you get the 12th fret, slide down to the 10th fret. Okay, that line all together. One, two, three, four. Okay, moving on to line 105. This one sounds like this. Okay, very similar again. 17th fret high E string. Hammer on 15th fret to the 17th fret. 15th fret of the high E again. 14th fret high E, hammer on to the 15th fret. 14th fret high E. 12th fret high E, hammer on to the 14th fret. 12th fret high E. 10th fret of the high E, hammer on to the 12th fret. 10th fret high E. Okay, so that line all together, one, two, three, four. Okay, next line, 109, sounds like this. Okay, to play that, uh, we are hammering on from the 15th fret of the high E to the 17th fret. 15th fret high E. 14th fret, hammer on to the 15th fret. 14th fret again, and then we're going to play the 15th fret, and then play the 15th fret a second time and give it a full bend. So 14, 15, give the 15th fret a full bend. So that little 14th fret. 15th fret lick looks like this. Then we got this descending lick. You're going to pull off the 15th fret to the 14th fret. Play the 14th fret and slide it down to the 12th fret. Play the 12th fret, slide it down to the 10th fret. 10th fret, slide it down to the 7th fret. Then you got the 10th fret of the B string. Okay, so that lick all together nice and slow. One, two, three, four.
Okay, in the next line, 113, it starts with that B string that we just finished the uh, previous lick with. Okay, so that's just the 10th fret of the B string. 7th fret B, 8th fret B, 9th fret G, 7th fret G. Then we're going to play the 7th fret of the G, slide down to the 5th fret, and play that 5th fret again. Then slide the 5th fret of the G string up to the 7th fret, play the 7th fret again. And that 7th fret leads us into line 117. So that line, 113 all together, sounds like this. Okay, and now that we're on that 7th fret of the G string, we're starting the next line. Sounds like this. Okay, and that's just the 7th fret. Slide the 7th fret of your G string up to the 9th fret. Play the 9th fret again. Slide the 9th fret up to the 11th fret. Play the 11th fret again. And then we're going to hammer on the 11th fret to the 12th fret. Slide the 12th fret up to the 14th fret. Play the 14th fret again. Play the 16th fret. Okay, let's take that nice and slow. One, two, three, four. And the last lick sounds like this. Okay, and to play that, it's the 17th fret of your G string. Play the 17th fret, then the 16th fret, then the 14th fret. 17, 16, 14, 12th fret of the G string. Then give the 14th fret of the G a full bend and release it. Play that 14th fret again when you get to the bottom of the release. And then you're going to pull off the 14th fret to the 12th fret. Then you're going to go down to the 11th fret and hammer on the 12th fret. And play the 11th fret again. And then you're at the end of the song. So that whole outro, uh, let's play the entire thing nice and slow. One, two, three, four. And that's all the parts for Main Street. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That'll do, shoe. That'll do. Yeah, but do